Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on second order linear or a homogeneous recurrence relation. So the given problem is solve the recurrence relation a sub x n plus a sub x n minus 1 minus 6 into a sub x n minus 2 is equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to 2 given that a naught is equal to minus 1 and a1 is equal to 8. Here the two initial conditions are given. Hence we can say that it is a second order linear recurrence relation. Okay, here the right hand side part is equal to 0. Hence we can say that this type of recurrence relation is called as homogeneous recurrence relation. Here n term, n minus 1 term and n minus 2 terms are there. nth term can be defined in terms of n minus 1 term and n minus 2 term. Okay, nth term can be defined in terms of its two previous immediate terms that is n minus 1 and n minus 2. Okay, hence we can say that it is a second order homogeneous recurrence relation. Generally, the second order homogeneous recurrence relation is in this form. Previous, in the previous video, we are already discussed about the second order homogeneous recurrence relation. C power n into A sub x n plus C power n minus 1 into A sub x n minus 1 plus C power n minus 2 into A sub x n minus 2 is equal to 0. This is the general form of a second order homogeneous recurrence relation. Now, comparing this second order homogeneous recurrence relation with the given recurrence relation. So then, here a sub x n, here a sub x n is there, here a sub x n minus 1, here a sub x n minus 1, here a sub x n minus 2, here a sub x n minus 2. Here c power n, here c power n term is not there, so that c power n is uh, indirectly a, it is 1. So c power n is equal to 1. Next here c power n minus 1 value is also equal to 1. Here c power n minus 2 value is minus 6. Here c power n, c power n minus 1 and c power n minus 2 are the uh, constant coefficients. Okay, what is the constant of a sub x n? That is a c power n. So, its value is 1. What is the constant of a sub x n minus 1 term? That is a c power n minus 1. That's value is equal to 1. What is the coefficient, constant coefficient of a sub x n minus 2? That is a 6. So, c power n minus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, now... Uh, for this uh, general form of second order homogeneous recurrence relation, okay, we have to get the characteristic equation or a auxiliary equation that are already discussed in the previous video. So, this is the characteristic equation. Okay, now given recurrence relation is equation 1. General form of second order homogeneous recurrence relation is 2 and characteristic equation of uh, general form of second order linear recurrence relation is equation 3. Okay, now for getting the characteristic equation or uh, uh, auxiliary equation of equation 1, we have to substitute these values in equation 3. Then we are getting the uh, characteristic equation of the given problem. Okay, c power n value is 1. So that means 1 into k square plus c power n minus 1 value is 1. So that is 1 into k. Next, 
c power n minus 2 value that is uh, uh, that is minus 6 c power n minus 2 value that is uh, minus uh, 6 is equal to 0 so that means 1 into k square is nothing but k square plus k minus 6 is equal to 0 this is the characteristic equation of the given problem okay so it is the characteristic equation of characteristic equation of given problem okay now we have to find out the roots now we have to find out the now we have to find out the roots of characteristic equation 4 characteristic equation 4 okay now k square plus k minus 6 is equal to 0 okay now we have to find out the uh, rules so here 1 into minus 6 that is equal to minus 6 so k square plus 3k minus 2k minus 6 is equal to 0 okay k common k into k plus 3 here minus 2 common k plus 3 is equal to 0 here k plus 3 comma k minus 2 is equal to 0 okay here k is equal to minus 3 and k is equal to 2 okay here roots are roots are real and distinct roots are real and distinct both roots are k is equal to minus 3 k is equal to 2 so roots are real and distinct so because k1 first root is equal to minus 3 and second root k2 is equal to 2 so there is no difference here k1 is equal to 2 and k2 is equal to minus 3 you can take either one no problem so k1 i am taking k1 is equal to minus 3 and k2 is equal to 2 suppose you are taking k1 is equal to 2 and k2 is equal to minus 3 there is no problem at all okay so if both roots are real and distinct then we can go for case 1 okay so we can go for case 1 roots are real and distinct so then what is the general solution a sub x n is equal to a into k1 power n plus b into k2 power n this is the general solution of the given characteristic equation of relation 1 or of equation 1 here k1 is root 1 of the characteristic equation k2 is root 2 of the characteristic equation okay here a and b are constants a and b are constants okay now substitute k1 value and k2 value so a sub x n is equal to a into what is k1 value minus 3 minus 3 power n plus b into what is k2 value 2 power n okay now this is the equation 5 now this is equation 5 okay 
so this is the um, this is the general solution of the given recurrence relation okay now the initial conditions are also given what are so the initial conditions are the initial conditions or so a not is equal to minus 1 and a1 is equal to 8 so a not is equal to 1 now take a not is equal to minus 1 a not is equal to minus 1 is nothing but uh, that is n is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 okay substitute n is equal to 0 in equation 5 so substitute n is equal to 0 in equation 5 so then equation 5 becomes a naught is equal to so a into minus 3 power 0 plus b into 2 power 0 okay n is equal to 0 is substituted in equation 5 a naught is equal to a into minus 3 power 0 plus b into 2 power 0 okay now anything power 0 is nothing but 1 so a into 1 plus b into 1 so that is equal to a plus b what is a naught value a naught value is minus 1 so a plus b is equal to minus 1 so this is equation 6 okay next next initial condition a1 is equal to now take a1 is equal to 8 that is n is equal to 1 okay now substitute n is equal to 1 in equation 5 so substitute n is equal to 1 in equation 5 so now n is equal to 1 substituted in equation 5 a1 is equal to a into minus 3 power 1 plus b into 2 power 1. What is a1 value? a1 value is equal to 8. 8 is equal to minus 3a plus 2b. So that is equation 7. Okay. Solve 6 and 7 equations. Solve equation solve equations 6 and 7 okay so here uh, a plus b is equal to 1 a plus b is equal to minus 1 and the seventh equation is minus 3a plus 2b is equal to 8 so these two equations are uh, solved so here this equation is multiplied with the 2 okay. multiplying this equation with the 2 so that is 2a plus 2b is equal to minus 2 okay next one seventh equation minus 3a plus 2b is equal to 8 okay now minus this is plus this is minus okay so here 2b 2b cancel and 3a plus 2a is equal to 5a is equal to minus 8 minus 2 that is uh, minus 10 so therefore a is equal to minus 10 by 5 is equal to minus 2 okay once we are getting a value next a a value 
is substituted substituted in either 6th equation or 7th equation. There is no problem. In equation 6. So that is A plus B is equal to minus 1. Okay. What is A value? Minus 2. Minus 2 plus B is equal to minus 1. So therefore B is equal to so minus 1 plus 2. So that is equal to 1. So B value is equal to 1. Once A and B value we are getting, so A and B values substituted, substituted in equation 5, in equation 5. Okay, so therefore A sub x n is equal to, what is A value? A value is minus 2. So, minus 2 into minus 3 power n plus what is B value? B value is 1. So, 1 into 2 power n. So, this is equation um, 7, 8. Equation 8. So, this is the final solution of the given problem. A sub x n is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 power n plus 1 into 2 power n. This is the final solution of the given second order homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. Now we have to check whether this answer is correct or not. Verification. Okay. So here we are getting, we are giving a naught is equal to minus 1 value. That means n is equal to 0. Substitute n is equal to 0. So a naught is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 power 0. Minus 3 power 0 is nothing but 1. 1 into minus 2. That is equal to minus 2 plus 1 into 2 power 0. Okay. So minus 2 plus 1. That is equal to minus 1. Yes. A naught value is correct. Now we go for a1 value is equal to 8. Substitute n is equal to 1. So a1 is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 power 1. Minus 3 power 1 is nothing but minus 3. So minus 2 into minus 3 that is uh, minus 6 plus 1 into 2 power 1. So 1 into 2 power 1 is nothing but 2. Here minus 2 minus 3 that is plus 6 plus 6 plus 2 that is uh, 8. A1 is equal to 8. So, our uh, solution is correct. Okay, this is the final solution of the second order linear recurrence relation. In this way, we have to solve the second order homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay, so this problem belongs to only case 1. In the next video, we are solving uh, one problem on case 2. In the next video, we are solving one example problem on case 3. Okay. So, three example problems I am telling on second order linear homogeneous recurrence relation. First problem on case 1, second problem on case 2 and third problem on case 3. Okay. So, this is the procedure we have to follow for solving second order homogeneous recurrence relations. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divvela Srinivas Rao. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. Okay. This is the solution.